power. Our LSU. Boom! All night long. Yes. Let's freaking go. I did not think when I woke up this morning that I would be doing a 3 p.m. in the afternoon live stream on Kayshawn Booty. But this is where we are. We're going to talk about Brian Kelly. We're going to talk about some LSU recruiting. Also, we're going to talk, uh, talk about Kim Mulkey getting the big W tonight. It's going to happen versus Don Staley and our mighty South Carolina Gamecocks. But I am going to start off with the big breaking news this afternoon. A betting scandal uh, surrounding one of the most controversial LSU Tigers of all time, which is Kayshawn Booty. Now, I'm going to share with you what has been shared already and then give you an overarching um, theme on this story. Okay, so this is the advocates uh, journalism. I just put it on this site um, just to make it a little bit easier for all of us to read as we go along. So this story is via Wilson Alexander of The Advocate, obviously uh, one of the best journalists there is. Um Former LSU wide receiver Kayshawn Booty placed thousands of illegal sports bets, including some on the Tigers and himself, using a fake account while he was still a player there, according to Louisiana State Police. Uh, Booty was booked in Baton Rouge on a felony count of computer fraud and a misdemeanor count of gaming prohibited by uh, persons under uh, the age of 21. Okay, so the first thing here, um, court documents show that on April fit 2022 Kayshawn opened a FanDuel account with his mother's name and credit card uh using another person's name and birthday so in the account Kayshawn obviously to cover up this is absolutely genius you never ever would think to be caught using the username this is crazy to me the username Kayshawn Booty 01 Yes, that is um, that is what happened. That was the username he chose to use. We continue. Not the brightest move in the world. Uh, he began to receive several deposits from that card, as well as hundreds of deposits from another credit card that listed Booty as a player. Okay, Booty opened uh, an account in Massachusetts under his own name. The company traced a credit card associated with it to the first account, noting that Booty turned 21 on May 7, 2023, therefore making any wager before that illegal. Okay, of course, you can't bet um, uh, at, uh, unless you are a certain age. FanDuel provided state police with a complete history of the account's 9,000 wagers. Okay, that is a ridiculous amount of wagers. All right. I am a sports better as well. Um, that is a lot of wagers that span from April 22 to May 2023. At least 17 on the bets, uh, 17 of the bets were on NCAA college football games, and at least six involved LSU football. All right. Two of the bets and included Kayshawn himself as a part of an eight leg parlay in which a better wage multiple outcomes at once. Okay, that's what a parlay is. Booty bet that he would score a touchdown and get at least 82 and a half yards against Florida State. Um, so he was betting himself on the over. Okay. Now, what makes that very interesting is if you actually watch the game, he wasn't going 100%. It did not look like he was going full speed a gazillion percent in this game. OK, so you would think you would think that he would go all out, all out if he would have had the money on him going over. All right. But he didn't go full speed in that game. You can go back and look at the games yourself. Now, this is where LSU can get in trouble. The document notes that some of the account's transactions 
took place within the LSU Football Operations Center. So why is that relevant? Well, I don't know all the NCAA rules, but in the NFL, you cannot bet on football and you cannot place bets inside a team facility. Okay, that's how Jamison Williams got suspended earlier this season with the Detroit Lions and other NFL players. Betting inside the operation center is an absolute no no. Um, uh, Booty, as an active player at the time, would have been one of the few people to have access to the building at the time when the bets happen, according to the documents. Okay, so. Uh, in July 2023, LSU was made aware of allegations regarding uh, a former student athlete's improper conduct related to sports gambling while enrolled at the university. OK, so LSU, according to this statement, says that uh, this has been something that's been cooking for a while now. Since then, we have fully cooperated with all relevant authorities. Now, uh, I would say uh, from Brian Kelly's perspective, he has made it a point uh, to let his players know uh, that none of this should be acceptable. And this should be shared with every player. If you are playing college Division One football, you should not be placing any bets at any point in time, right? You don't want any type of integrity rule to come back to you, all right? Um, so there's more to it uh, than here. Um, with Kayshawn and so on and so on. So once again, this is the advocates uh, journalism. OK, now I want to also share with you uh, something else that is very interesting. And once again, this is all new. This is via Preston Guy per WAFB. Now, I need to do a little bit more research because I still don't believe this. OK, I still don't believe these numbers. OK, but with Kayshawn, I you, you don't know what to believe now. According to the warrant during 2022 and 2023, Kayshawn deposited a total of over one hundred thirty thousand dollars into the account. Kayshawn won a total of five hundred fifty six thousand, but used most of that money to make additional bets. Kayshawn withdrew fifty thousand dollars from the account. OK, I still don't believe this. OK, but. Preston's obviously a very reputable guy, reputable guy. Obviously, I'm a big fan of WFB as well. Um, so I I would be shocked. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to be real with you. All right. I shared with you all the facts um, and everything that's out there now. There's going to be more that happens. First off, it pisses me off because this day should be about LSU women's basketball. Okay. But it's not. Once again, it's about Kayshawn, make it about Kayshawn for an, uh, a negative reason, okay? Then, you know, this we should be talking about these stupid Brian Kelly rumors, all right? But that all takes a backseat because this is very serious, all right? This is very, very serious, all right? Now, why is this the case? Because when it comes to sports betting and inside sports betting, all right, the professional sports leagues around the world take this more serious than things that should be taken more seriously, if that makes sense, right? This is at the forefront because you see all these sports organizations taking money from sports betting sites, and they don't want to compromise the integrity of the sport, in particular now that – these are some of the biggest cash cows for not only sports teams, but just everyone right now. OK, so that's why this is so serious. And this honestly is one of the first times an SEC school has been involved with this. Um, we, we saw um, Iowa and Iowa State have some instances of this, uh, I, I believe. So um, Pete Rose, that's a good point right here from from Allen. OK, uh, Simper with some sarcasm there. We say hi to Eric, the master blaster, um, Tyler, Michael with the late happy birthday. Thank you guys so much. Brock and Cliff were the first ones in here, along with Brett. Um, look, I'll, 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 I'll say this right now. Kayshawn is one of the most destructive LSU football players of all time. OK, destructive. Now. 
there is so much surrounding this young man's incredible rise to prominence. We remember the Ole Miss game, the record-setting Ole Miss game. We'll always remember what he did in those first games in 2021. And obviously getting hurt probably sunk him um, in, in the Kentucky game and made him very sad. But there are so many things that he has done that has hurt the LSU football program. And once again, I don't want you think to think of this as just the LSU football program. I don't want you to think of this as you being an LSU football fan. I want you to think about all the people that put their blood, sweat, and tears into putting together a winning football program. And for you to do this compromises the integrity of everything. It really does. Now, were there other LSU football players involved in this? Uh, I don't know. I, we don't know at this point. And what concerns me is Kayshawn did such a bad job of covering this up. Okay? His username was Kayshawn Booty 01. Kayshawn Booty 01 was his username. Okay? Kayshawn Booty 01. Imagine LeBron starting a betting account somewhere and started betting on the NBA. And his name was King James 23. That is what Kayshawn just did. If you were going to do it, have some other name than Kayshawn Booty 01. Okay? And here's something else. Here's something else. Okay. If it's just one thing, I will let you slide. If it was just this one thing. But there's a gazillion things. Okay. A gazillion things. Not playing hard. You sometimes wondered that when you watched him play. There were stories about his rehabilitation. That he didn't take it as serious as he needed to take it. Okay. Brian Kelly, one of the first press conferences he had at LSU, singled out Kayshawn about getting on the same page with Kayshawn. Okay. It's another thing after another thing. It's deciding you're going to come back and then you don't decide to come back. Did that affect the decisions of other people? whether or not they were going to come back to LSU, holding us hostage of whether or not you're going to come back or not. Then it's time to play the bowl game. Well, Kayshawn can't play in the bowl game because he's suspended. Why was he suspe suspended? There's a bunch of different rumors as to why. Okay. Then you have the autograph situation. Okay. Um, Mason Smith reportedly got into the autograph mess that he got into because of Kayshawn. Okay. And there was an apparent disagreement that happened uh, between Kayshawn and someone else that blew the lid on that. It's one thing after another. Okay. And I always go back to this. More often than not, a player, even if he's great, can cause more destruction to your program than success. All right. So from this point forward, if there is a sour apple on the team, cut them. All right. There's no need to put up with all this BS. Okay. There's no need. He just drugged down the team. Okay. Now there's going to be more details that come forth. And obviously I, I've, I feel a little uncomfortable coming out and just saying all this because this all this just happened in the past hour. But you lose the benefit of the doubt when you have all these things that pile up. All right? It's just another thing. I thought we were done with Kayshawn. I thought we were done. I thought we were I thought we were to the next to, to the to the next story. It's tough. It's really, really, really tough. Now, if you're just joining us right now, obviously that was a scorched earth take, but it's time to 
hold people accountable. All right. I cheer for every single person that puts on the LSU football uniform. It is hard to play division one power five football in the SEC. It's hard. It is hard. Okay. But if you don't hold those accountable that wear the purple and gold of LSU and we're just fans and we don't, you know, see things and call things out for what they are, they continue to happen. All right. It's crazy to me. Absolutely crazy to me that this happened and how clueless you have to be to do something like this. Okay. Um, and look, uh, for me, and this would be what I would do as the coach or a leader of a major organization like LSU football, and I'm sure Brian Kelly did this, uh, but one of the most important things you can do to your team is tell them what they shouldn't do. Okay, that should be the most important thing. All right, there, there, there should be the, the first thing you should do when you meet with every single player is list the things that you should not do at all. Obviously, it's basic common sense things such as treat others with respect, don't get in fights, um, you know, don't drink it, drive, so on and so on and so on. But obviously, one of the biggest things is don't bet. Don't bet. Okay, so we'll see what happens. I, I'm pretty sure LSU, um, you know, they they've been cooperative throughout this process. They are concerned. I would be I would be very concerned with this. Because, man, there's nothing else the NCAA loves to do than to make you an example. There's nothing more that they love to do. And this could be the case. All right? So we'll see. We'll see. All right? Uh, this is the normal Thursday live stream. We are going a little bit earlier uh, than normal. I do have something I have to go do this evening. I'm actually calling some some basketball games myself. Um, so we're going to go early and look, if you guys want to make 3 PM a thing, I don't mind doing a 3 PM stream and an 8 PM stream. I, I, I don't mind doing afternoon streams. I really, really, really don't. Um, but this isn't a breaking news stream. I was going live at three regardless. Um, so there you go. We go to Pooh Bear. What's good? SMC. Good to see you. Todd, TOV, um, WFB said he used a fake name. I mean, the uh, the real big three says I'm blowing this out of proportion. Okay, well, I'll I'll let the people decide. All right, I'll let the people decide. Am I blowing this out of proportion? Okay, you 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 tell me right now. I'm sorry. You. I, I don't think that I am. <laughs> I mean, this stuff is very serious. You see what the NFL does to people. They suspend you for an entire season. That's what they did to Calvin Ridley. Okay? You saw what they did to Iowa earlier this year. Okay? They do not F around with this. They they don't. Okay? That is the worst thing you can do. All right? I feel like I've been fair. There's always going to be, be a piece of me that likes k because I like every single LSU football player. But... I'll tell you this, I won't be collecting any more of his autographs. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Uh, so there you go. But it, go, it goes back to this, man. It goes back to this. I am always open to giving people second chances. And if you just have one isolated incident, okay, let's say you get in one random bar tussle or you're late to one meeting or you have one bad month of academics or whatever, that's fine, okay? College is hard. Being a teenager is hard. Becoming an adult is hard. I had my issues in college. But if if it's one thing after another, after another, after another, you lose a benefit of the doubt. That's how it should work, okay? Yeah, it was barely a half a million. That's the thing that concerns me, is that he won extravagantly. Okay? he According to WAFB, I still don't believe this. I still don't. It is hard to win in sports betting. Hard.
very, very, very hard. Um, you know, when you're winning, that does concern you. <laughs> I mean, it's it's insane. It's insane to me. Okay. Uh, but next thing. And if you guys want to talk Kayshawn, let me know. Uh, we will go live probably for another 30 minutes or so. So if you want to get your questions in, go right on ahead. Um, all these super chats are open. We get our first super chat of the right on the, on the money. Uh, Travis, thank you so much. Travis says, first time being able to catch you live. Been watching since last summer. Love your show and film breakdowns. Keep up the great work. Um, thank you so much. All right. Thank you. TLV says, don't worry too much about it because he was a short-term winner. Okay. Let's go to Tony. This isn't what we wanted at LSU. Hope we hope he gets his life straightened out. Not ideal. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I wish the best for anyone at any program. But, man, this was crazy to me. All right. Crazy. So, yeah, it's it's it sucks. It really, really, really sucks. Now, race brings up a question here. He's most definitely not the only one. Surely this is not an isolated incident. OK. I'm not going to assume that any other LSU football player would do something this crazy. This dumb. Okay, but I made a list of all the different red flag things that just stood out to me. And he did obviously win us a lot of football games. We don't beat Ole Miss in 2020. Um, he had some big catches in the Alabama win in 2022. Um, we don't beat Mississippi State in 2021. He's, he's, he's a prodigious talent. Um but man, I half of what you are as a player is how you conduct yourself off the field. All right. It is honestly that important. It is that freaking important. Okay. And that's what's so wild to me. I I I still can't believe it. I still can't freaking believe it. Okay. I just don't understand, like, and and this is what this is what really stands out to me, okay. How, like, if I if I am betting myself on the over versus Florida State, why was he half assing it? Like, that's the thing that just doesn't make any sense to me. It looked like he was totally disinterested. If I had a six legger. And two of them included me getting over 80 yards and a touchdown. Like, there was a throw in this game where Jaden threw a laser, okay, in a heavy coverage. And Kayshawn barely went for it. And I'm like, what? What? You you, you, you got to get a touchdown for your parlay to hit. It's insane. It's insane. We had a simper Pegasus. Who that? Okay. It's insane. Now, I do want to get into a few other topics here. I think tonight's game is going to be clunky. All right. I think LSU is going to win, though. I do. Call me bias, whatever. We're going to get the W. Take a look at the poll question. 70% of you are in agreement with me. I wish our LSU women's expert, Sherry Berry, was in here. I watched a good amount of them this season, and I think we're going to win. Okay. I think we're going to win. Next thing, the Brian Kelly Michigan rumors aren't going to stop until Sharon Moore is officially titled the head coach. Okay. I, 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 I just don't think Brian Kelly is going to make this move. I just don't. I just don't. I think he will be at LSU for the foreseeable future. 
Okay, he has said so much. Once again, with these types of things, they can change. Um, you, it's whatever. It's whatever. Okay. But he's not going to Michigan. I don't mind having an egg on my face with that. Not because that's a pro LSU thing, but I just don't I just don't think that's gonna happen. Okay. I just don't. Um also LSU football news. We did see a offer dished down to Jaleel Muhammad. Now I am always a fan of the undersized DT. Muhammad's not the biggest guy. He is a playmaking three technique, and he has got moves. All right. So he would obviously help us out in the pass rushing aspect of playing defensive line. Okay. I'm glad he got the offer. Um, you know, Bo Davis obviously likes him. Uh, I believe it was Chance in here, and uh, Chance said that that was Bo Davis's guy. So hopefully we get a commitment there. That would be very nice. It it would also be nice if we got some other DTs to come in as well. Don't forget, every Monday I'm on with Blake Rafino. Do you think D Pelly's a bet on if BK would be the next Michigan coach? <laughs> there you go. Every Monday night, it's going to be a good time. Also, we're going to keep this going. We have been absolutely hot with these. Okay. Um, this is um, – these have been fun to give out. Jaden Daniels, Prince. If we had a hundo in Super Chats or the first $50 Super Chatter, guess what? You're getting a Kayshawn. I say Kayshawn. You're getting a Jaden Daniels, Prince. Okay. Who let him through the East Gate? <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Um, next thing I, I would bring up here, all right, is, you know, going back to the Kayshawn thing. You know, I, I go back um, – to some of the film studies uh, that we did, the Florida State game was just bad. I honestly felt when we kept putting Kayshawn in the slot, Jaden never felt comfortable with him there. Never. They they had no chemistry at all. Okay. Um, and there were times where Kayshawn would get open and Jaden just didn't see him. Uh, but, man, I... I hated the way that that connection went, and it made you wonder, was that lack of chemistry a reason why, you know, Jaden had some tough games? Um, so there you go. Now, everybody, welcome Justin to the channel. Justin says, some folks in the national media are chomping at the bit to paint the school in a bad light, and this is just ammo to do so. I agree. And look, it's – and welcome to the channel. Justin, hope you hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. And if you are new, don't forget we have all kinds of fun live streams that we do all the time. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays, 8.15 Central, Wednesdays at 6. Once again, going live at 3 because of the women's game tonight. And I am also calling some college basketball tonight as well. Pretty excited about that. All right. Um, but yeah, you know, Justin, th th that's the thing. All right. You, and and this is what's crazy about playing football at LSU or playing football at any big college out there. Okay. One player, one player can drastically change the outlook of a multi million dollar operation which is lsu football i mean you just 
really think about this one person, one person's selfish actions. Okay. And it just goes back to half of what you are as a football player is what you do away from all of this. Okay. Let's go to Ralph. Welcome to the channel, Ralph. Man, I never thought in my life that I would have a commenter with a One Direction uh, profile photo, but there you go. <laughs> Ralph, uh, I'm a 1D fan. There you go. Uh, we did a 1D like kind of film study uh, for the Missouri game. And they say he bet six times on LSU games. Pete Rose. My guy's done. He committed the absolute no-no. All right. Yeah, there, there's no chance any NFL teams are, are touching Kayshawn now. All right. All right. Now, I want to go to this. 684 times a month. Okay. I love sports betting. Okay. I like to think of myself as a responsible sports better. I win. I lose. We, we all do. Right. But what concerns me about the, the, the future is all the parlays and, and people thinking you can predict sports. You can't predict sports. You just can't. This is, that's what makes sports great. There's no script, even if you think that there is a script. And even if there is a script, you don't have access to it because if you did, you would be in the bottom of the ocean right now with Luca Brasi sleeping with the fishes. Okay. Bet responsibly. Bet responsibly. Just because you think you know sports does not think does not mean you can predict the future. Okay. I have a buddy, talked to him recently. And I went through and quizzed him on random college running backs. And all I would do is say, hey, tell me what college they went to. And I'm talking about random, random college running backs. Okay. It wasn't just simple ones like no Sean Marino. I mean, we were talking some deep, deep, deep cut running backs. And he got them all right. I mean, he knows sports unlike anyone else. He is a losing sports better. Okay. You can know a lot. Do you 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 can break down every single rule of a Nick Saban defense, of a Dave Veranda defense. You might know the difference between bare front and mint front and tight front and rip and liz coverage principles, palms coverage. You you can know all of it. Doesn't mean Jack Squat. In fact, sports betters would tell you that. It's better to know nothing about the sport that you're betting on than something about the sport. Uh, that's been the, a lot of winning bettors have, have said that. Spanky, um, who's one of the biggest sports bettors on the planet, um, started the Sports Betting Hall of Fame, recently said that um, in a podcast. All right. You, you, you can't do it. You don't know. You, you don't know. Okay. Uh, the winning sports bettors, on average, hit 55% of their bets. And then there's the juice or the vig. If you don't know what that means, you probably shouldn't be sports betting a lot. Um, if, 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 if you don't understand the odds of a parlay or how to calculate something called a hold percentage, who knows what a hold percentage is? If you don't know what that is, you probably shouldn't be betting a lot. Okay, and it's a free country. Do what you want within the laws. Do what you want. But if you don't know what that stuff is, you, you probably shouldn't be doing it. Okay, especially for uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay. I know about Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates. <laughs> Oh, man. 
let's go to Dwayne. Dwayne always does this when whenever I'm talking about any game. Dwayne will hop on here and 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 I actually got asked about this once. Uh, Dwayne, um, Dwayne will share what the public is betting. Okay, so normally you don't want to be on the side of the public. Okay, now what does that mean? Well, you can calculate who has um uh, or or this this information's out there books will tell you which way the um the public is betting so 69% of the public is betting um the cowboys to beat the eagles or i just made up a to a, a random matchup um you can get that information you normally don't want to be on the side of the public Okay. But yeah, I got a bunch of K-Shot memorabilia here, and I am definitely going to be giving it away uh, pretty soon. Actually, I'm not going to give away on here because none of y'all are going to want it. Uh, yeah, I mean, Dan, that's the thing. Um, it's It's tough. It's really, really, really tough. Um, but yeah, you know, keep Danny to, to, to that question. I don't know. I don't know. But it's, it, it's, it's, I don't know. Like, man, it, it is more than likely. I don't know the NCAA rule book, but like, even if you're betting overs, like Pete, like for instance, Pete Rose bet on his teams to win. Okay, that can still affect the integrity of the game. Okay, um, Kayshawn betting himself over eighty-two and a half yards. Okay, so I know what some of you are going to say. Well, why why is that important? Why why is that important? Because if he's betting on himself to do well, is that something you should be concerned about? Yes. Okay. There's a lot of different ways that that can influence a game, right? So if I'm Kayshawn and I know I need 60 more yards uh, to, to get the over on my parlay, that would obviously make me want to break off my route every time and go on a go. If I needed to score a touchdown, I I could break off my round and go try to do something out of the ordinary. It, it definitely can affect your performance, especially if you're like me and you're very competitive. You want your bets to win, right? I think all of us, you know, 90% of us want to win money playing, uh, doing sports betting because we want to win the money, but – that 10% of you that just wants to win because you're competitive, that was a Michael Jordan aspect of sports betting. They always said Michael Jordan didn't have a betting problem. He had a competition problem because he always thought he could just win in everything. And the odds are more often than not against you. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, you know, there's a competitive aspect of it. It's crazy to me. That's cool. But yeah, it's not to me. Now, something else I want to get into. Let's go to Rumble Road. LSU is not involved in this. Are they supposed to seize their players' phones and check for FanDuel? I don't understand how this is an LSU issue. I think LSU is going to be fine. Okay, but I, I just don't know. I, I, I just don't know. Okay. Um, let's 
Let's go to RG. He says, this is a witch hunt. It was his girlfriend's account. Just because I use an alias like Jalen Milrow doesn't make it his account. Whoever's bank account, the deposits and withdrawals came in is who account it is. Okay. So obviously, uh, you missed the beginning portion of this where we shared that the credit card info went back to him when he set up an account in Massachusetts. Okay. Even if it is a girlfriend's account. Okay. Why would you tell your girlfriend to set up an account in your name? What you would think that the girlfriend would not set up a username as Kayshawn Booty01. Now, that doesn't prove for certain that Kayshawn for sure made the bets, but if you can geo trace it to where a bet was made inside the operations building. I mean, I I don't I I can't I I don't know I I I can't I don't get that spin at all, um, but once again, I'm still pro LSU. I I don't I think LSU can say, look, this was a rogue player. It was just him, and hopefully it was just him. But we'll we'll see what happens. Okay. It's kind of cool. I, um, but I also want to use this time to, if I was to spin this positively, to share how much I like the players that do the right things. Okay. Um, the guys that don't get LSU in trouble. The guys that can be superstars, get big NIL deals, and so on and so on. And – not get involved with this. If this is indeed Kayshawn doing all of this, give me a break. And once again, this is what I would say to RG. You don't get the benefit of the doubt. You just don't when there's a thousand other things, okay, that that has happened that has not put LSU in a good spot, okay? Now, and that's the thing. For every Kayshawn, there's 20 players who do the right thing all the time. There's Josh Williams, uh, Will Campbell, so on and so on and so on. Emory Jones. Got a, always got a Josh Williams card nearby. Mm. I also want a chance of recruiting. Okay, we talked about Jaleel Muhammad a little bit earlier. Um, I I hope the um, I hope the portal offers begin to go up, and I hope we continue recruiting the heck out of the portal. Okay, we still need some players getting ready for next season. I I do want to focus, on, and that's what's crazy. Keishon didn't even play this past season. He's we're still a year plus away from all 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 the his 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 last game at LSU which was the SEC championship which was one of his better games that season ironically um so there you go and welcome to the channel RG there you go Now, here's what you're going to do. In the next five to ten minutes, I am going to answer as many questions as we possibly can. But if you do, Super Chat, we'll keep it going. Now, pretty big news for the New Orleans Saints. All right. This just broke, like right now. 
Okay. Raheem Morris will be the next head coach of the Atlanta Falcons. Okay. It will not be Bill Belichick. All right. I'm going to give you my thoughts and take a few more questions right after this. PHL Nation. Oh, yeah, baby. You know about Louisiana Controls. They've been showing us love throughout this college football season. And I'm looking for you to do the same when it comes to your energy management commercial HVAC needs. It is all with our buddies who have been doing this for over 40 years. Yes, that is four decades. You know this Louisiana weather gets crazy. Go to louisianacontrols.com or call 225-924-4990, baby. Let's go. Once again, big thanks to Louisiana Controls and louisianacontrols.com. Okay. Will Wade. I, I've seen Will Wade's name in here quite a bit. Um, let me do bring this up because I don't get a lot of LSU men's basketball questions. God, that was a good, good game last night versus Georgia. I understand that they really needed that game. They really, really, really did. But they played well, right? And that was one hell of an inbound play to get Jordan Wright that open three open for the scenario. Um, it looked like the Georgia player tried to take a flop, which is stupid in that that in, that situation. And Wright almost hit that three. Man, I've been critical of Matt McMahon, but he has done a really good job with this team. He just needed his point guard, Jalen Cook, uh, to be eligible. And, and he's been sensational. And I'm really liking what I'm seeing from that program. Um, you know, this is... Tonight, though, is like just this big focus. And honestly, I do think this is awesome that you get this big game and college game day is there. But if we lose this game, it's not really that big of a deal, if you ask me. I mean, if we lose this game and we continue to basically win out and win the SEC championship, because there's still a good chance we could play South Carolina in the SEC you know, tournament, that game will probably decide who the one seed will be or who a one seed will be. But LSU's got the tournament experience. They can make a run as a two or a three seed. Um, So there you go. Let's go to Danny Girl. She says, I disagree about the men's basketball game. I do not think that they played well at all. At all is kind of strong. I think they did some good things well, but still – I think both teams stunk and it felt like the battle of the mids. Uh, yeah, it was. A, it, I, I will say it wasn't the most aesthetically pleasing game. Allen says, in his opinion, too much one-on-one. Okay. Tyler says, should have fouled the big guy at the end and make him two free throws. So I'll, I'll tell you this. I was live during the first half of the game. So I really only watched... The, the second half um, extensively. And I went back and looked at some highlights from you know, like the beginning. But so maybe I am wrong on that. Y'all feel free to check me on that. But I felt the second half performance, you know, they stuck it out. Um, playing on the road in the SEC is really hard. Uh, so I'm always way more lenient. Uh, so there you go. Guitar Man. Wants to talk about Matt House getting a job. Jaguar linebacker coach. All right. Man, 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 man. I thought it was interesting. Um, the NFL reporter who broke the story, the way his words were used. Um it when it, it, this is what I always say about reports, okay? From the big newsbreakers in any sports industry, always be weary of how the wording is framed, okay? Because so much of the wording of a release, is framed to make the subject of that release look positive. 
like they said something about Madhouse and the positive, or he was he was a big part of LSU's back to back ten win seasons. When in theory he was a major liability, in particular in year number two, as many of you know. Okay, so I will keep my lips shut on 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 this, but because I, I don't want to cause a firestorm, I just don't. All right. There was a release over the past year regarding LSU sports, all right, that was appalling, okay, from a newsbreaker. And I was like, that's not that, that's not what happened. That's that's not. And then when I actually did more research on the person who broke the news, he was doing a favor for someone, okay? And I was like, God, that is – that's irresponsible. But – People who break sports news, that's not necessarily journalism, okay? That's news breaking. I think that's a little bit different. And I – man, that it, it pissed me off. And I was like, wait, that's not – that's not what happened. That's, that's just not how that – that just – it should not have been spun that way. But it was. Okay? And I'll leave it at that. Now – um. Let's go to Rumble Road. Unless LSU told him to bet, then I still don't see how they are how LSU is culpable. Players who bet in the NFL get suspended. The teams don't get fined or draft picks taken away. I do agree with this. I I still think LSU is going to be fine. I do. All right. But once again, we still don't know all the details. This just broke today. Okay. And LSU has had knowledge of this for a while now. Okay. But yeah, so uh, I, I'm in agreement, Dwayne. It was crazy that that was how that was tweeted. I was like, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. That's not how, that's not how that worked. Huh? 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 Uh, let's see. But Raheem Morris, the Falcons head coach, obviously Morris is one of the best coordinators in the NFL. Okay. He he's one of the best coordinators in the NFL. Okay. He's also been an interim with the Atlanta Falcons before. Okay. But the big news from a Saints perspective is Bill Belichick did not get the Falcons job. He did not get the Falcons job. Now, why didn't he get the Falcons job? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go to IH2 Consultations. Welcome to the channel. This looks like a game worn LSU uniform, number three. So is this Odell? Is this? Oh, it looks like it's the older ish font. So is this Craig Buster Davis? No, because we didn't have LSU on top of the the three at the time. I don't know who's yours. Is this? Welcome to the channel. The right thing was not to uh, to not allow sports betting to become in the first place. Well, sports betting was around. I, I think it meant more widespread. Men's basketball should have hired Randy Livingston. Okay. Madhouse is, was not a good coach. Agree. Definitely agree on number three. Um, Number two, I, before this season and early in the season, I was like, anyone with a Madhouse, but he's been a little bit better. And the sports betting thing, it's, it's difficult. That was my point earlier, Justin. Some of our programs are villains in the national sports space. Yeah, I mean, that's true. There are some people in the national sports media that don't want anything uh, positive to happen with LSU sports. I don't think it's a grand, grand, grand conspiracy or anything like that, but it is wild. Now, guess what? I'm going to be chatting in the Discord during the LSU women's basketball game. Shout out to our top super chatter of... 
I say the evening of the afternoon. That was Travis. Thank you so much, Travis Whitney. Guess what, Travis? You being the only super chatter tonight or this afternoon, you deserve something from me. Um, Travis, I feel like being generous today. I've been giving out a bunch of my collection lately. I'm going to send you a Josh Williams card, Dan. Or is that my last Josh Williams? You deserve it. I love Josh Williams. So uh, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram at PowerHourLSU or PowerHourLSU at gmail.com on the email. And uh, I'm going to send you this Josh Williams card. So congratulations to you, Travis. And uh, thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, man, Kayshawn. I used to love you so much. I used to collect your autographs. You are an LSU legend after the Ole Miss game in 2020. And threw it all away. Kayshawn Boutiel won. What the heck? It is! Power. Power. LSU. Boom. Fingers crossed. LSU is going to be fine. We don't have anything to worry about. And tonight... Oh, it's chicken quesadillas night two. Let's go. 